Yeah, that's pretty mind-boggling. That's for fairly complex, and I, I'm so glad that you're focused on that, uh, and you'll come back and give us some more answers again. So thank you. Uh, why don't we move uh, on to our next uh, presenter. Our next uh, speaker is Charles Ding, and uh, he serves as a corporate vice president of Huawei Technologies in the United States. And Charles has more than 23 years of experience in the telecommunications industry. He has held a range of senior executive positions with Huawei Technologies and its uh, worldwide affiliates. And he'll be hearing about the trends and challenges uh, in the information and communication technology side. Um, they're focused on the, uh, on the tier two and tier three carriers and, and the solutions and ways carriers can deliver affordable broadband services and I think we'll uh, enjoy hearing from Charles. Right after Charles, we'll take a short five minute break to set up some slides for the next uh, presenter and then we'll do the uh, achievement awards. So uh, please uh, join me in uh, welcoming Charles and Charles, the podium is yours, thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the warm reception, and thank you, Steve, for your kind introduction. It is my honor to be here with all of you and to address the CCA Annual Convention. Huawei is very proud to be a member of CCA and very proud to be a partner to many of your companies. Our number one mission to every customer, no matter how large or how small, is to deliver state-of-the-art technologies, solutions, and services to meet your needs, delight your customers, and grow your business. In that, in that spirit, I greatly appreciate this opportunity to share with you Huawei's perspective on extending competitive broadband to all people. I'll spend the next few minutes providing context on the importance of a broadband for all. I'll also give you a sense of Huawei's history and our current business. To close the loop, I'll focus on more specific trends and the challenges facing your companies and offer some solutions we believe that can enable you to deliver a competitive broadband service to your customers. Earlier this year, the World Economic Forum issued a report on the importance of our underlying digital infrastructure. The report states that in the G20 nations alone, the internet-based economy is expected to increase 4.2 trillion US dollars in the next two years, with growth rates estimated to reach more than 10% per year significantly faster than the economy as a whole. This exceptional growth is due to a number of factors. Several independent analysts pr predicted that by 2022, the number of internet users will double. Time spent on the internet will triple. Applications being leveraged we increase by a factor of four. The impact of a large universe of users and applications will mean that 20 times more data will be generated. Internet traffic will increase by a factor of almost seven with the more and more cloud-based services will be introduced. At the same time, the number of broadband connections will grow four times over, and there will be a five-fold increase in smart devices. The magnitude of these projections is truly profound. They make it crystal clear that bandwidth capacity we need to increase at an even faster pace than we have experienced to date. So how did we get here in such a relatively short period of time. Within, similar to the early historic 
cycle of the industrial revolution, driven first by the introduction of the steam engine, and then by electricity. The introduction of information and communications technology, or ICTs, are driving the current cycle. Within the past 15 to 20 years, ICTs have contributed to fundamental reshaping of our society. And the ICTs continue to drive the deep convergence of the physical and digital worlds. We see three major driving forces behind this new cycle of industrial revolution. First, it's a never-ending pursuit of better user experiences as reflected in characteristics like speed, real-time interactions, freedom of access, and simplicity. Second is the power of technology, the smart device, cloud computing, and ultra broadband technologies have laid the foundation for the transformation of the, all the industries. And the third is the continuous pursuit for ICT innovations, big data, Internet of Things, telemedicine, auto definition video, just to name few, we generate more innovations in the future. As connected as our world is today, with 40% of the world's population online, and the nearly 22,000 gigabytes of internet traffic generated each and every second, Huawei believes a better connected world is on the horizon. A world that will generate even greater social and economic benefits for all. A better connected world will increasingly unleash human potential, facilitate free sharing of ideas, spark innovations, and drive the evolution of technologies and the industries. Huawei is a global company with two-thirds of our business generated in markets outside of China. But our success didn't occur overnight. 27 years ago, a startup private company, Huawei, was formed in a newly created special e economic role of China. The company's initial business focus was to recycle PBX and the switching equipment in the rural areas of China. Like most companies, most startup companies, survival was the main goal for the company during the early years. But even as the company struggled to survive, its leadership envisioned the future opportunities to grow the company. And so while we began to reinvest its revenues back to the company on research and development. When I first joined the company some 20 years ago, most of our business was still in the rural areas and the small cities. In the later 1990s, we grew our domestic business by focusing on suburban and more urban areas. Among the turn of the century, we took a big step turning our attention to the global market. By the middle of 2000, Huawei's business revenue generated from outside overtook revenue from China. Like most companies, we experienced ups and downs along the way. But all the way, we maintained our core values. One of our core values is to be customer-centric. We know that our success is partly due to the continuous demand for more and more bandwidth. A more important reason, we believe, is a commitment to our customers and the dedication of our workforce to break through technical limitations and develop innovative solutions that meet our customers' needs. 
regardless of your company's size or experience, we all share a future of unlimited broadband opportunities. Huawei is well positioned to help you realize your goals. Today, Huawei is comprised of three major business groups. They are the carrier business group, which provides integrated products and solutions to help telecom carriers build their network. The enterprise business group, which provides network infrastructure, cloud computing, and other ICT solutions for enterprise customers. And the consumer business group, which provides mobile devices to hundreds of millions of consumers around the world. Just as in our early years, while we remain committed in investing in research and development, over the last decade, we have invested more than 10% of our revenues in R&D. No matter how the economic environment changes, we believe that only by continuous investment in technology will be bring the highest returns for customers. For example, Huawei has invested heavily in LTE technology. By the end of November last year, Huawei built 110 commercial LTE networks, or 45% of the world's total. This includes a network deployed in more than 100 capital cities and nine financial centers. Huawei has also contracted to build another 130 commercial LTE networks worldwide. Huawei has been a presence in the United States for the past 13 years. Although our business has faced challenges here, our long-term vision is to maintain our investment in this market, one of the most dynamic in the world. Whether you are a wireless operator in a rural or urban area, the challenge you face in keeping up with increasing demand for more and more bandwidth is the same. That means delivering voice and data anytime and location. The availability of additional spectrum, advanced technologies like LTE, and the greater backhaul capacity are all necessary to satisfy these demands. But each of these introduces distinct challenges for your companies. For example, additional availability of additional spectrum will require the installation of new radio hardware already heavily loaded at house. Huawei has responded to this challenge by developing auto wideband radios, high reliability active antennas, and fully integrated microwave solutions. New site acquisition and associated operating expenses can be addressed through no profile solutions and flexible backhaul, such as our easy micro solution and the compact V band microwave unit. And while in addition to that, Huawei is also pushing the envelope by offering in building solutions with four times the average capacity of a micro site. Huawei's number site cloud run solution has been deployed in more than 20 commercial networks last year alone, offering integrated, integrated 3G, 4G, and Wi-Fi services. In addition to the network challenges, competitive operators are also faced with the challenges generating revenues, offering new services for in-region and roaming customers can go a long way to supplement your company's revenue. As top-tier operators are running out voice over IT, competitive carriers 
could offer a unified communication solutions based on this technology. This could offer any devices to access any service in any location. This solution could deliver a better user experience and then attract more local and roaming customers on your network, thus generating more revenues for your company. Another example is to host switching core, whether IMS or EPC cores, for neighboring and the remote partners to virtualization, and the seamless integration of voice, data, and the video can create more values for vertical markets and enterprise customers. Another revenue generating strategy may be to leverage your business analysis and the network resource sharing with the other national operators through storage, cloud computing and storage solutions. So virtualized, software-defined, and cloud-based solutions can help generate additional revenues for your company. We have also an eye on the future. 5G is the next frontier of innovation for the entire mobile industry. 5G networks will support 1,000 for the gains in capacity, connections for more than 100 billion devices, and 10 gigabyte per second user experiences. In short, 5G will be a game changer. Huawei began investing in research and the development of 5G technologies in 2009, and our outlook for future investment of 5G technologies totals $600 million over the next four years. We work together with others in the ICT industry to define the future of 5G and core 5G technology, master core 5G technologies. <clears throat> to make most of the opportunities to grow our digital society, we believe leveraging entire ICT ecosystem is a key strategy. The ICT industry is remarkably interdependent and global. That's why Huawei collaborates with the dozens of leading research institutions and is a key member and a contributor to major global standards bodies that ensure interoperability and competition in the market. We have numerous channel partners that deliver our products to our customers. The pool of our partners and the supplies is ever growing. Last year, 83% of our supplies were from outside of China. With the one third of our inputs, almost seven billion US dollars coming from partners in the United States. Better connected opportunities lie ahead in partnership with your companies and many others across the global ICT ecosystem. Huawei work together with you to extend compatible broadband services to all. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. All right, uh, why don't we take uh, just a short break. I wanted to thank uh, Charles. Um, you know, network providers are really key uh, partners with our, our carriers, and we very much do appreciate uh, Huawei's uh, support for CCA and, and your focus on this market uh, segment. So thank you. Thank you for a view of the market from Huawei's perspective. So why don't we take a short break. We're going to set some new slides up here. We have a new uh, a download we have to do. Right quick, and then we'll uh, uh, get you a cup of coffee, uh, maybe five, seven minutes, and then we'll get back into the last presenter, and then we'll do the award ceremony right after that. Thank you. <laughs>